Okay, welcome back. For those of you that are watching us live, uh, this is our second episode tonight. Uh, we usually play about three episodes uh, on an evening. And for those that are watching one of our recordings, recorded episode, this is episode number 34. Oh, and we have, we've got an animal under the table, our little dog Simon, who wants attention. So Lavinia is going to do that and give him some he wants uh, attention. Dessert. Oh, he wants your dessert. Oh, he wants food. I see. All right. Anyways, uh, to pick up where we were, first of all, we're going to do intros. My name is Dave Wildson. I am the game master for the Wilders game that we are playing right now. And I'm going to go right around the <clears throat> table. Let's go to Raven. Hi, I'm Glenn the Valley. I play Raven, uh, Raven Alexium, the squishy wizard. <laughs> and next. Hi, I'm Amanda. I play Josephine Smith, the sharpshooter. Pew, pew. We'll just jump to you, Rob. I'm Percival Redfeather. I'm played by Robert Woodbury. And uh, yeah, I'm a crazy adventurer and big, bold fighting man. Let's go to Thaddeus. How do you do? I'm Ian Little, and I'm playing Thaddeus Poindexter. Physician. Perfectly normal doctor who also <laughs> stabs people a lot. And uh, let's go back to Lavinia. She's back now. I, <clears throat> hi there. My name is Lavinia Rose, and I am the fortune teller of the group. I'm also the healer of the group. And also, I'd like to introduce you to Abuela Mala. My grandmother, evidently, her soul got trapped in this skull. We don't know what to do about it, but she acts as guidance to us all the time. So if you see us talking to the skull... That's what's going on. And she's happy to be here because she has a tremendous smile. Okay. Uh, so picking up where we left off in the last game, that was um, a situation where the Wilders, the players, are in a mine. They're looking for some prisoners they're trying to rescue. And they've just run into something that they're not happy about. Right out of the darkness, uh, some kind of projectile has come out, blown up, hit uh, the two people and the two players in the front, which were uh, Thaddeus and Percy. And we have started combat. So uh, when we left off, it was Percy's turn. You had taken two actions, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. And it is time for your third action. What okay. do you want to do? Uh, I am going to leave the body of uh, the dead the Der Dwergar dwarf that died Dwergar in the dwarf, explosion and i'm gonna push past and try and protect uh thaddeus okay you're gonna well, thank you very much gonna try and push past and protect him now yeah i'm gonna protect him you're from gonna move your token up damage. and your the other stuff and yep. do what you need that's gonna be the end of your turn correct and uh yeah just you it takes no movement time to be your last act takes no uh, action for me to yell uh, so guys we're under attack Okay, all right, that sounds fine. The explosion wouldn't have I, it us might, into that, but... <laughs> I don't know about you, you, you know. Just, just... Okay, that means that it is Raven's turn. Raven, how do you react to everything that just happened? Well, <clears throat> I'm far away, and I can't really do much. So I will um, just move up a little bit. Okay. You run down the hallway. I think that's all I can really do at this point. Um, I don't have any buff stuff. You are now in combat, which means you've got 25, you've got basically five squares you can move, 25 feet. So you can go right up to Lavinia and, and be right beside her. Yep. Okay. That means that it becomes Lavinia's turn. Okay, I am going to move up closer to the action. So, okay. Yourself? How no. far forward do you want to go as far as moving closer to the action? Just a second. I can move your token if you need to. Yeah, that would be great. I... So, are you going past Josephine? Yes, I am. All right, let's have a look. At I'm the, trying uh... to get to a place where I can right. see the threat. So, Thaddeus is impact. going to move your mini. You tell me when that mini is in the right place, and I'll move your token. Well, there you go. You got your token. You're now good. I can see the threat. You're going there to see the threat? Yeah. Well, that's one action. You have two more. 
Okay. Um, the thing I, is, is that you yeah, cannot so see the threat. No. Because it's too dark and she does not have dark vision. Okay. However. She can see the braziers and they're lit, but that's it. She cannot see the darkness past them. I think I'm right there. All right. So can you let me know where the edge of darkness is? The edge Wait, of darkness is you, these two red me? things. Yeah. I, I have to intermit here because Thaddeus did take the vest off of the troll before going forward. Dwargar, you mean? Yeah. So the vest is there. And I'm going to say that the range of that vest is only 20 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20. So Perjurus is just beyond the range of that vest as far as light goes. How far can you cast your light spell? Um, or it's just on a, any object? Yeah, it's, it's on an object. Okay. But, you know, my, my question is, is this magical darkness just regular darkness? This is regular darkness right now. Okay. If that's the case, that... Just changes things up a little bit. I There's would... just a very dim light, red glowing light that em emanates from those two braziers, and that red glowing light reaches out from the braziers five feet in any direction. I'm <clears> casting <throat> light on to your hat. Oh, all right. You're you're gonna light up that, uh, Percy's hat. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. You light up Percy's hat. It's a blazing pink feather now. Yeah, it'll make you hard to to find. Okay, so his hat is lit up. Uh, light <laughs> is one action or two. Uh, yeah, can't it's going to kind of screw up your stealth. But... Yeah. Is it one action? <laughs> yeah. You have one action left. No, I'm, I'm good. Okay, you're going to hold. That means that it becomes... <laughs> Josephine and Bear's turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Josephine does have low light vision. She does. That mm -hmm. is correct. And um, I believe the Bear would as well. I Yes, I will say as a dire wolf, he absolutely has dark vision. Yeah. Okay. So we are like shit. running right to the front, both he and I. We are shoving past people. We are getting up Ow. beside Sir Percy. <laughs> Surfy. Wolf. <laughs> Surfy. Percy. Okay, move yourselves to where you're going to be. Okay. I shall. Oh, where? No more Percy like, footing around. My... Put your Percy footing around. All right. Okay, so if you do that, it's going to take you, I'm going to say because getting around them, it's two actions to do that. You have one action left. I do what should I do? I assume that would be three actions, so I didn't know I would have one left. Oh, so, so you get a bonus. I know. It's a bonus action. Well, uh, guys, I'm gonna move the uh map over a little bit so it's on the camera a little bit too. So I'm gonna just put the action right there. You'll have to move the minis, but there it's centered down. People can see it better on the screen. So what do you think, Josephine? Um you know, I really didn't have a plan up to this point other than you to just hold, catch up with everyone. Hold like Lavinia did. No, no, I want to do something. Oh, so right. let's you know what? We haven't done this yet. Oh, I don't know how many um actions it takes. Are you starting talking about something that starts with a T? Yeah. Don't look. <laughs> No looky. Wow. You know, I can just bring your sheet up on my, uh, my computer. She can. He can see your whole sheet. He can so see you. So you have no secrets for me. Uh, trouble see. began. Is it? Uh, but he doesn't know where to look for it. He has know what you're talking about. I'm a wizard. Because it's not where he would think it is. I got to go well, find it too. Well, now I got to look. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to find anything. Josephine does a stomp stomp. I would, that's what I thought. There you were we go. Do. So finally, what she is talking about is we'll go to the GM screen for a sec. This is Dance of Thunder. Frequency once per minute. You're wielding a loaded firearm or crossbow and you are not fatigued. 
Your steps echo with the lateness, the thunderous retort of exploding black powder as you dance a dance of death. Take any of the following actions you choose in any order. Step, strike against the target within your firearm's first range increment. I'm going to say this is part of your last action. Okay. Mm -hmm. And interact to reload. And if you attempted a strike and it succeeded, you can repeat these three actions again in any order. Hmm. She's had this over this overpowered thing for a while now and has never used it. If you attempt, uh, attempted a strike in the second set and succeeded, you can repeat the actions one last time. So she can get a three for on this. Does she take an attack um, um, penalty each time? I'm going to say yes. Uh, I do not see that it wouldn't make her avoid attack penalties. So. Uh, she can do her three for all in one, but now I will do That's further right. research. I might change that rule like uh, after I do more research later on. What's going on? But go ahead. You, you're rolling to hit then. Are you going to shoot with what? I'm able. Okay. So you are bringing out your Wait, big how far, gun. How far am I? I'm not less than 20 feet, am I? You no. are 15 feet away. Or it's a ten, it's at 10 point that I roll. Correct. At disadvantage. Okay. So you're all so right. Yes, for that. I'm rolling with Mabel, but where did oh? Here we're gonna switch back to triple. I rolled a twelve for my. Um... And what's your bonus? If you hit the player button, it'll pop up and show you. Mm -hmm. Well, I also am currently under my. Uh, so Mabel is a thirteen bonus to strike. And you rolled what? I rolled a twelve, so twenty-five. And you are aiming at which one of them? The alive one. <laughs> you hit him. Yes. And let's see for how much damage. Wait, I didn't roll my damage correctly. I just rolled a 20. Um, so it's a 1d10 plus 4. I rolled a one <laughs> plus four, so five points of damage. Okay, five points of damage. Uh, that hits Perjurus. Uh, he and you hear him grumbling a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have hurt him very badly, though. Is it Bear's turn? But that was your stomp. Yeah. Doesn't weird things happen with your stomp stomp? I don't actually understand the stomp stomp I thought, <laughs> I, I thought i thought i was going to like stomp and like they would all roll to the ground and like pass out so something. it says if you attempted a strike and it succeeded you can repeat these three actions again in any oh, order see so if i had read your your summary i could have uh... you can bring it up on your own screen. now <laughs> the three actions are <laughs> to Step, strike, and reload. So you can repeat these three okay. actions in I any step, order. I I reload. Okay, show where you step to. That's five feet some direction. Okay. Forward, Hold sideways, on. what I'm is it going to be? minimize this. Okay, so we go five feet into the forge. Strike. In between the forges. And reload. Strike and reload. And reload. roll to hit. Okay. Roll to strike, I guess, would be the Pathfinder roll. term. I rolled a 17, That's so a, I strike. You hit him. Again. Sexy. You guys are giving him a shellacking, just the two of you. That's what he gets for being in our way. You I rolled don't a know how to perjure is his, uh, though. Is that with a disadvantage? No, no but no. you you seven? taking the penalty. You're taking that. the penalty with your 17. Oh. oh, okay. So you'll see if you do that pop-up screen, it shows that your second is, first is 13, second is 8, third is 3. Okay. I am 17, going on 17. So, um, so your, your attack <laughs> damage bonus? Maybe it's on uh, to, with, with your... Weapon. Hold on. 
Hold yeah, on. Is going yeah. to be a, a, a plus four. So 11 points yeah, of damage. Flash four. You hit him? What did you roll to hit him? You hit this. The second roll was a 17? 17 plus a 17. Bonus. And, then, and then I rolled for seven points of damage and yep. uh, four I got points of additional custom damage. So how much total damage did you do? 11. God damn. How much damage have you, do you two done total in like a few seconds? Well, that is the way I want the game to work. Uh, whoop, that was a mistake. Don't do that. Don't do that, Dave. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, on my third stomp stomp. Yes, ma'am. How come it's not uh, stomp, so stomp, stomp, stomp? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh, uh, it would be 26 to strike. Hits. Yes. I'm going to have to get some more armor on my guys. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but this is what I... And I, I roll want. for... Is that a nine? Um, That's a nine. Nine plus like four, nine. it would be 13 points of damage. All right. Did okay. you step at all? You just... I stepped and reloaded. I did all the things. Come on. You did all the th she did all the did things, all Raven. In the same spot if you stepped. Okay. You just shush. move your move so your you can, you can step place there or, the or there. I was busy role playing and not computering. Okay. So this is the way I've been wanting to uh, make um, combat go. Combat is going to, as I try and figure out balance on it, it's going to be more dangerous. So you can get hit a hell of a lot harder but so can the monsters, right? So I have been buffing your damage high, and I'm also buffing their damage high as I figure out the right balance, all right? So that means that, like, you, you know, you can, you can take a shot in the future that'll do 25 points of damage or more to you. Just be aware right? That means you're going to have to deal more with running away or hitting cover or doing things just like the monsters are going to have to. So, uh, it is now bear's, bear's turn. turn. And bear is going to lunge at his throat. So let's roll for his initiative. Okay. So bear is, well, you guys are right up in his face yeah, now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We stomped and then we stomped. Oh, she's back there. No, she's back there. She oh, moved up. She moved stomped up forward. Bear? Okay. Yeah, Bear is always going to be right on me. Oh. Bear rolled a natural 20 to um, strike at the throat. Holy shiza. So that's a crit. <laughs> Hold on a second. Bestiary. Because he gets a 12 no, on that. Companions. That's 32. Crikey. <clears throat> and, now, um, as a dire wolf, he has a thing called pack attack where he gets to deal extra damage to creatures within reach of at least two of the allies. He's only within reach of one right now. Mm -hmm. So bear's pack attack does not go off. Uh, but his uh, strike will be plus 12. And let's see, what do I roll for that? Well, you've already hit him. Now oh, you're rolling, okay. Now you're looking for damage. Okay, so I roll for damage, but with uh, what? I, I can't see. Can you close that? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a player, player thingy column for... Oh, right here. Yeah, 1d10 plus... For bear. Oh, d10 plus 5. You guys don't see a thing for bear? I mean, he's in yeah, the no, encounter he's, tracker. Um, he's under companions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, look for him under companions. You double it. Okay. With the That's crit, where I double it. All of Raven's things are going to be and yeah. all that stuff. Okay. You got to look in the actor's tab in her companions. So Bear rolls a four plus five times two would be 18. 18 points of damage. Also, Good boy. roll to see if Bear knocks him down because Bear has a thing called knockdown. And it is Bear's athletics check against the target's reflex. So I'm rolling the target's okay. reflex right now with my Skookum new mug. Hold on my a mug? second. Oh my I God. have to turn hold up him to. That's very I will hold up my mug. I got this mug for Father's Day. Dee, 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 dee. Here it is. Here we go. Put it in the handle. And it comes out. And it is, I can't. Oh, my God. It's a... Oh. Okay. 
I well, think these guys can um, Bear has a plus 10 initiative for athletics, and he rolled a 6. So 16. 16. To knock him down. That is 2 plus... Let's find out what Perjuris' actual reflex is. Perjuris is knocked down. Yay! Yay, bear. Yay, bear. And as Perjuris falls to the ground, you realize that his eyes glaze over because he has, in fact, got zero hit points. Uh oh. And you killed him. Bear killed him. Bear killed him. <clears throat> bear killed him. High five, the good buddy. Yep. High five. Yep, yep. Give me All kisses right. on my face, even though I do not like dog slobber on my face. But he's not a dog. He's, he's a wolf. He's not a dog. He's a wolf. wolf. So that means that it's the beginning of the next turn, and it becomes the mechanical device that uh, Perdris was working on. I'll pop up the picture for you one more time, because I think it was our previous game that we had this picture showing. Perdris was working on this device with some type of a robot and that device is what thaddeus hit with his knives Pating! and now that uh Perdris is down and is dead um it becomes this thing called a dig widget this is the dig widget it Yippee. becomes the dig widget's turn. And here I thought we'd so find a shovel. So you hear it all of a sudden, you hear a lot of gyroscopes and things starting to buzz and spin and whir up. And it comes. And it turns and it faces what's right closest to it, which is Josephine, who is right there. And it immediately, out of its hands, come these drills and sharp pointy knives and stuff like that <clears throat> and mr dig widget here uh let's find out what he's got that he can do bad things to other people with uh his target is josephine and he immediately extends a drill <laughs> Oh, no, he's got a drill and he's got a corkscrew. <laughs> Any, meeny, miny, mo, which one will go? I'm going to pick the very next one. It's the corkscrew. Okay. So he extends his right hand that's got this corkscrew thing on it. Like a big funnel. And uh, he rolls. He's going to open your wine right up. Whining. Would you like some cheese with that? With the corkscrew. We'll He'll open your wine. Giant... It's called corkscrew. I would probably call it something like auger. Why is my armor class only 22? This makes no sense to me. What are you talking about? Like, that's really high. Very decent. He rolled uh, 9 plus 14 is 23. No, it's he not. He hits you. It 9 is. plus 14 is 23. I'm not great at math, but I'm pretty good at the basic <laughs> stuff. He and cannot so, be confused. It is time. Is that longhand edition? I'm I just the rote stuff, you know. I know how to do math by rote, that's it. Here we go. Uh that's an eight. What's an eight? He has to roll One. an eight for damage. Mm. God, you're so lucky. A one and a two. two is so plus can... four. So seven points of damage. How is that lucky? Well, it was a 2d8, and out of 16, you got three points of damage. So that's pretty lucky, I think. 34. Um, okay. Uh, then, uh, that being his first action, as he does that, he now suddenly turns and takes a leap, punches down and goes... <laughs> leaps over top of you and tries to attack Percy, who was the first one to attack behind you. He can leap 5, 10, 15, 20. He sure can. 
The dig widget leaps up to 20 feet. How come I can't drag you around? Hey, dig widget, go over there. Okay, fine. I can't move the token right now. I don't know why. But dig widget is moving. I mean... Yeah, I can't, um, can't move it. Did you try the, the right click and drag? On it? Yeah. I can't, oh, there we go. The right click and drag works. Oh, he, he can't. There we go. There, he goes right up to you. Okay. And fascinating leap. And again, it is a it attempts a corkscrew strike against you. He rolls a 13 plus 14 is 26. He hits you for a couple of D8s plus some damage. Who's he hitting? Four. Percy. Percy. Plus four. That is eight. Plus four is 12. Percy rolls to see if he can maintain control. I was going to say. Time has come today. Natural 20. Ready to go. So you have control. I'm going to say with a natural 20, you get full control of which way you go. You can either choose to turn into a weird tiger, or you can choose not to turn into a weird tiger. <laughs> We're making this. Here we go. More, more, more. <laughs> And <laughs> Percy <laughs> turns into a weird tiger. I am now officially a weird tiger. Ooh, so scary, scary. Yeah, yeah, where's my uh, weird tiger guy? Uh, hold oh, on. Uh, I got to take the damage off of me first. So that was yes. How much damage total? Twelve points. Twelve points. So I am down to forty-eight. And suddenly your token transforms into a weird tiger. You can double click your token. Yep. Or you could look uh, under companions as well. I believe your weird tiger is probably there. Okay. You know what? I need to go and look myself and see. Yeah, Percy weird tiger is under companions. We'll have to switch out the mini as well. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good box. So because weird tiger is uh, shown up, um, we have a mini cam. I forgot to tell you guys, mini cam is not operational tonight because I am working on sound and I had to unplug the mini cam setup. We have a great camera for mini cams, but <clears throat> check this here? out. In the Tiffany's box. First no time ever. The finished Weir Tiger. Yes. Oh my God. He's great. Beautiful. Thank check you. Check that out oh. here. I'm going to. I'm going to make him a little bigger. I'm going to get right on Dave. Yeah. And we're going to go full screen. And we're going to hold him up. And we're going to see if we can get a uh, good Should focus. Okay. Come little, on. Little, there, there he we is. Hey. Oh, he's great. What a beautiful wear tiger. That's great. Look at how beautiful he is. Look at, look at the stripes on this big boy. Nice. Yeah, let's he's see if we great. can get. You could sell cereal in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look good? Amazing. So this was painted by our resident rogue, uh, Ian, who's placed Thaddeus. Thank you very much, Thaddeus. Everyone say thank you, Thaddeus. Thank, thank you, thank you Thaddeus. Thaddeus. He did an awesome job, didn't he? So yeah, uh, once again great. here. When I used to do face painting, I specialized in tigers. Nice. Ian used to do face painting as part of his special event stuff. I can't get him to close that to you. On your face. Breathe closer to you. Yeah, and then, there you and go. then move it. Yeah, there it goes. Perfect focus. Kind of. He's great. He is awesome, and he is now on the board. <laughs> so I should also say uh, this mini was printed so we were... by Rob. Actually, Rob printed this on his brand new 3D printer. Isn't that yeah. right? Yeah, I've got uh, I've got one of the um, what is it? Any cubic uh, Z five uh, S. Yeah. Any cubic, cubic Z5S? Z5S? Yeah. And what do you name it? I That's that like technical what, uh, term. My, right my printer? There. Yeah, what's your printer's name? Oh, Hephaestus. Thank you. Obviously. 
Sugar says, look at those muscles. <laughs> Let's watch them go pink. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we uh, tend to um, we tend to print most of our own minis these days. Thaddeus is laughing I, in a strange way now about that. That's funny. We I tend to print our own minis. Uh, we have a lot of uh, STL files from a Patreon <laughs> artist that we have supported. And we... Um, print them up ourselves, we paint them ourselves, and we put them on the board to play for fun. Now that that's happened and you've turned into a weird tiger, it is still Dig Widget's turn. Right. He has a third turn. You've reacted that way. Oh, but right. uh, what it. is Dig Widget mm, going to do now that he has still mm, got his oh, third mm, action? Dave. He has done his leap. He has done his attack. <coughs> and he decides now... That he will try a straight up drill strike. <laughs> Once again at Game Percy, who's suddenly a weird tiger. He's got a plus 13 on his attack for that. So uh, let's see how he does, man. This is uh, actually, this is his third attack, so he's only got a plus four. But he rolls a 15. But you, what's your weird tiger's uh, armor class? AC 21. AC 21 means that he misses. Good. You hey. walk away the drill, and uh, you do not get your weird tiger drilled. Okay, uh, that is the end of Digwitch's turn. It immediately becomes Thaddeus's turn, who is right behind you. Yep. All what right. would you like to do, Thaddeus? Uh, Thaddeus is going to be fast here. With his exquisite cane rapier. His exquisite cane. I stowed your other one in your pack, by the way. Yeah. Okay, and? And I'm going to attack the, the moving pointy things. <laughs> okay. All right, so is this like, like uh, are you bludgeoning, or what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, smash That's it. going to leave your cane rapier sort of. in the thing. In yeah. The, smash it with the heavy head of your cane rapier. Yes, I am. Roll the hit, man. At plus 14, uh, 26. Hits. And damage. Yeah, that's a good shot. Uh, 1d8 plus 4. So that 4 plus 4 is 8. And 1d4. Oh, no, I can't do the bleed. No bleed on nope. this guy. Nope. Yeah, it's just the 1d4. So total Plus damage four. is eight? Eight. Okay. I have got that set up. All right. So this is the first time that the dig widget takes damage. And and you see a few little sparks like and you see him all of a sudden trying to adjust and repair himself as a, as uh, the attack is happening. And I have another strike. And you have another strike. Uh oh. <clears throat> Rolling with the cane rapier. So with my plus 14, I get plus 15. Eh, oh, you, <laughs> wait a sec. You don't get... You, uh, you so take my a plus penalty. 10. That's right. With my plus 10, I get an 11. Oh. That would mean you rolled a 1. <laughs> I love the way something... You are, you're the best at doing that. I'm going to roll to see if something happens. I need... Besides... Now... I haven't implemented it yet, but we are going to implement a uh, a fumble and a crit table. So you know how we've got wild magic when these guys cast a spell? Yep. I'm going to get a couple of more things. I'm going to get a random that 15% or slightly less time when you fumble or you crit, something else happens. I have been waiting for that for quite some time. Seven. Nothing happened on your fail. You're good. Oh, you're lucky this job. time. Oh, so lucky. Dodge. So, um, you got a third attack or a third action, whatever you're going to do. Uh, my first action was moving. Oh, that's right. Okay, fine. So you're done, and it becomes Percy's turn. What well, is Percy, Percy Weir Tiger? Percy Weir Tiger decides to use his most vicious attack, which is his fangs. So, uh, wait, there's, there's three here. Um, yeah, this will be so hard for you to get used to. You've got new stuff. 
1d8. I, I think I'm going to go with the fangs first because that's 1d12 plus 4 piercing. Ooh. Don't, don't break a fang on the metal. Well, they're pretty strong. So, uh, roll the hit. Roll the strike. Mm -hmm. yeah, eight plus fourteen you, is uh where oh, the heck we're still is on it? Thaddeus. Yeah, let's go back and jump. Oh, yeah, did you miss something on Thaddeus? No. Oh, or, no. sorry. Um Okay. Okay, so uh uh twenty one. Twenty one misses. Bugger. What you trying this time? Law. Claw, you gonna try and swing, swing a claw to slash? Mm, that one's no good. And uh, last time, last try. Jaws. Jaws. Nine plus fourteen. Twenty-two. Hey, oh my God! That's wow, so fast. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two misses. Bugger. Okay, um, so combat's making time really fly really fast for us. What time is it? Well, it's 10 to 9. So uh, we are going to, as I said, we're going to limit these. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play another 10 minutes because I've got stuff I'll be editing out of the episode anyways. And then we'll uh, go. So I'm going to reset timer for 10 minutes, and then we're taking break. <clears throat> Percy, as a weird tiger, finds that when he attacks, Digwood it is so heavily armored that it's a lot of chink, 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 and he does not penetrate ever. No, it's okay. just, it's being painful. I, I need yeah, more. Right I, I need better roll. Let me get it over here. Thanks. Okay, so uh, that means that it becomes <laughs> Raven's turn. Okay. Raven gets to <laughs> react for a change. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna move into some sort of position here. That was really cool. What was really cool? I just got a notification saying I'm up next. Oh, oh yeah, so the so the our new uh, combat encounter is improving things a little bit more. So so I'm here, 5, 10, 15, 20. I can't use the same space as Lavinia, so I have to stop there. Or you can like, push, you can push faster. past her. Do I have a, a chance to see the It's going to take you combat. It takes you like 10 feet if you push past her is equivalent to 5 feet, right? Like, but that's still a, an action, right? So I'd use two actions if I did that. Uh, if you I'm, push past her? Yeah. 5, mm. 10, 15, 20, 25. Yes, it's going to take you an action to push past her. And if you did, you could move another three squares. Okay. So you can but go or you could right up there if you want. I think... Um, Well, that, that would leave me only one action left. Okay, I'm going to um, do that. I'll get in front there. And where is this drilly guy right now? He's right in front of me. Yeah. Do I have a clear um, line of, of attack to this this drilly guy? Well, there's a big honk. Uh, like the the dig widget? Yeah, the widget. Widget. See the, the drilly tiger? guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, weird tiger right in the way, but because I can go a step aside. You right? could go there. And I'm still using I, a turn. And now I have clear line of sight. Move? Yeah, you moved out. Mm -hmm. You know what? It looks like I get locked out of moving any tokens as soon as uh, we go into a combat. Now, really? it's interesting. interesting. So you guys have got to move your own tokens. I can't help you out anymore. Okay. So, uh, all right, where did you move your body to? Your guy is there. Lost and my display. Well, there it is. What do you want to do with uh, standing there behind Thaddeus? You have one action left, right? I am going to lob a um, an alchemist fire. I think I have one in my inventory. All right. You know, you're only five feet away from me. Right? Yeah. I'm you're five feet away from you. You're the, only five feet away from, from the enemy. Yeah. You know what? Uh, here's the problem. I don't have dig widget on the board. So today... Dig Widget is going Straight to be played <laughs> by the La Velociraptor. <laughs> okay, there it is. This is our Dig Widget. Look, it is kind of golden, so we're just going to have Fair to remember enough. that's the case. Okay. Go ahead. So, put, 
I'm I'm Big not completely comfortable being that close to this thing, <laughs> but I don't see how else I can get a shot in if I'm any further well, away. Well, we, not when there's a big ass we, weird tagger right in front of you. You don't have yeah. a melee weapon, do you? You're basically or a touch weapon. We yeah, have, but they suck. Yeah, but I do have an alchemist fire. All right, alchemist which fire. I shall throw. Um, and yeah, I'll do that. With anything electrical? Actually, that's a good question, but that's. That's um, metagaming, so I, I, I don't know the answer same. to that. But I am going to throw an alchemist fire, and I think I have one in my inventory. I do. And uh, I roll to hit. I'm trying to figure out how I can do that, because the first time I've used it. Alchemist fire, it's a plus nine to strike. And I rolled a 13 plus 9 is 22. It's, um, You know what? I'm going to, in the interest of us moving along, I'm going to adjust his unbelievable armor class, because, of course, he's metal, to 22. You hit him. All right. So I believe that rolls a 1d6. Uh, 1d6 plus, or 1d8 plus persistent fire damage. I rolled three. Three big points. Okay. At least I, I did put something. Them on there. And I put myself in direct danger. Uh oh. What will dig would you do? It becomes oh 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 shit. Oh, oh you didn't oh, cast oh, a spell. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't you didn't cast a spell. Never mind then. Let's move along to Lavinia Rose. What are you gonna do? Lavinia um the first Rose? thing I'm doing is I'm casting shield on myself. All right. You cast shield upon yourself. You and take an action to do that. That increases your armor class. Just seems like a good thing to okay. do. Um, and I can see him pretty clearly from where I am. Raven, you should update your token if you can do it. So I'm casting okay. magic missile. You're going to hit him with magic missile. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he is your target for magic missile. Uh, you have got two actions because you cast shield which means yep. that you can fire two missiles uh unless you upcast it um let me just see what, what you my, want to do you want to up what my token finances are your token finances a two would give you a level two token would give you four missiles and I don't think you have any level three tokens. I think they're all. Yeah, in I, do. I, you do? I have oh. one level three. I have one level two and two level ones. So Which one are you giving me? I'm going to give you the two. You got four missiles to hit him with. So hit away. Well, well D4s. Rolling. I I don't need to roll for them to hit. Damage. No, but damage. No, but damage. Here's D4s. A, here's a D4 cup. So four d fours plus, uh, we we updated your damage on your um, uh, missiles. You and Raven both, I believe, they've got a plus three on them now. So one d four plus three. I think so. I'm gonna double check. I I had to go in and edit to do it. You should look at your force barrage, Raven. It might have that little bit of extra stuff on it. Okay, I'm rolling it so you can see it because I. It's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I've got hers at one D four plus three four. Yeah. Uh five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Plus three is eleven. Eleven points of damage. Good hit. (laughs) Like a Caltrop. We're good. Okay. Damage has been applied. Mine's one D four plus three. Okay, good. They both should be even, both the same. Um, and that is the end of Lavinia's turn, I believe. Yep. She moved, she did her thing. It becomes Josephine's turn. It is my turn, isn't it? Um, I am going to. Thank you. And you, it is, it is leapt over you. So you are now facing its back. Perfect. His booty. Perfect. Flanking. Metal butt. And you're flanking, flanking it too. Oh, I 
flanks. Oh, we are flanking. And you are flanking it. So it loses another point of armor class. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you need a camera on you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get a camera on Joe. Best supporting uh, ranger in a D&D &D campaign. So we are hopping up on Bear's back to make me extra tall. Okay. And Thank you, Bear. Linking, uh, he's the best, bestest ever. Linking this around the robot's neck and thrashing him to the ground. Okay, so, so have a look at the picture of the robot first. I'm sorry to interrupt you with reality. I know it's reality. <laughs> This is a warped sense of reality. No, no. Virtual if we reality. look at the picture, he doesn't really have a head, but you could maybe link it around. Oh my god! The top, the top, the top pieces. pointy bits. Yes. Top pointy okay. Bits. And and yank him. And you're gonna try and pull him down. Yes. Pull him backwards. Yes, with knock, my with knock my... him prone. Absolutely. All right. Well, we are going to break right there. Uh, <laughs> And uh, for the folks who are watching the recorded episode, uh, you'll find out in the next episode, episode number 35, whether or not Josephine has been successful about knocking over this big metal monster. And for those that are watching us live, uh, we're going to be back. It's 9.01 Mountain Standard Time right now. We are going to be back in 10 minutes at about 9.11. Okay? We will see you all then.